to worship God. Let us lift our hands and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ocean divider, the one that sitting in heaven and make the earth is supposed to worship his name. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for everything you have done. In Jesus, much less name we pray. Bless your name. 
mistaken but it's only a few voices I can hear hallelujah I want you to I want you to celebrate the king of kings the lord of law the one that was and is and is to come the lord of hosts the master of the universe the one that lived the poor from the dust and the end of misery the one that was dead but now live he lived forevermore he had the power over death he had the power over principalities at the mention of his name Every day we bow of things in heaven on earth and the earth. There is no power that is greater than him. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your deaths that gave us the privilege to assemble here. He opened the light gate that all may come in. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to celebrate grace personified. Wait, wait a minute. One of the promises God gave to David in the book of Psalm 89, verse 27, he said to him that I will give you, I will make you my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. When a man has walked faithfully with God for a time, the Lord will give him a name. That's why Jesus, God, he suffered, he went to all the crucible, and God gave him a name. And the mention of that name, Jesus, every meal in heaven, on earth, and in the earth. So our father had walked with God, and God gave him a name, the Harbinger. That name is higher than the case of the earth. When you are faced with a situation in the spirit, if you call the name of your president, the demon will not run. Are you with me? But when you say, I, I am connected to the Harbinger, they will leave you in a hurry. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate this man, this grace, the Harbinger of the last covenant. Put your hands together to celebrate this grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want us to celebrate our mother in the Lord, Pastor Margaret Wachuku, a woman loaded with wisdom, a woman that carried the word of God with the healing anointing, the one that cannot be defeated in the spirits. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a rare for me to walk under her. I've learned a lot. Hallelujah. At the same time, I want to thank the men in general, particularly the men's chairman. Please put your hands together for the men's chairman. The men organizing committee for all the people who put hands together to make this program a reality. Hallelujah. Please, let's celebrate the men's choir. They are doing excellently well. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, in case, in case you're a member of the choir, before now, we have been doing shakara. You see that there are men who are sitting there who can do it better. Hallelujah. So, anywhere you are, no service is indispensable. Nobody. God can raise to Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate that once again. Hallelujah. 
And I want to thank also all our guests. Praise the Lord. Those who are invited, who come to join us to celebrate what God is doing here. We say you are welcome. The God of our Father will encounter you in this meeting. Amen. So, praise God. Permit me to call the moderator for the day, Mr. Madu Okonkwo. Please put your hands together as a weapon. Somebody shout hallelujah! Somebody shout the big hallelujah! If you are healthy and alive, jump onto your feet and shout a big hallelujah! Amen. Amen. I bring you greetings in the name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. The soon coming king. The mighty man in battle. The I am, I am. Put your hands together as we celebrate Jesus. Before I proceed, I want us to celebrate the set man over this commission. The angel over this commission. God's harbinger. The general in the Lord. The demon bulldozer. With a jumping ovation. With the rolling, whispering. Shout a big hallelujah. Amen. You can take your beautiful seat. I welcome you to 2019 GRA International Men's Convention with the Dean provoking fruitfulness and multiplication. Amen. Amen. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Nothing to preach, man of God. The Bible says, To everything there is a season. And to every purpose there is a time under the heavens. And we are fortunate enough to step into our season of fruitfulness and multiplication. How many of you are ready to bear fruit here? From what our daddy taught us yesterday, he taught us that right from creation that the seed was already planted in us. Right? Were you here yesterday? You carry the seed. You carry the seed. Right? I carry the seed also. And the way you carry a seed, when a seed is planted, it must be watered for that seed to germinate, right? Amen. Amen. Naturally, when you plant a seed and, it does, and you don't water the seed, what happens to that seed? He dies. Somebody may be asking, how do I water the seed I carry? The seed planted in me already. You can water that seed by your service, by your sacrifice, by giving your time to the work of God, by supporting what God is doing here. You can water the seed. And when the seed is watered, it germinates. And when it germinates, it brings forth fruit. It is your time to bring forth fruit. In Jesus' name. Okay, without wasting time, 
I want to bring to the stage the men's drama group. Drama group, are you ready? Sit down and be blessed. Catch up the message. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together as they bring the men's drama group to the mic to the stage. a great year. Wow. This God of the Abinja is too much. Wow. 2019 has been great. Wow. All the blessings, all the money, millions, different alert, up and down. Man, what a great God. Last week, I just bought 2019 Range Rover. And I'm even thinking of buying another brand new car. Should I buy a Lamborghini? I think I will buy, let me, let me buy a Rose Race. All the money is there. Man, I'm so blessed. All my prayers, 2019, they were never in vain. Wow. I thank this faithful God. Secondly, our pastor keeps saying that you should come to church Wednesday. Come to church Saturday. Come to church on, on Sunday. What, what, sort of, what, sort of, what sort of pastor is all these ones now? If I go to church, how will I be able to enjoy this my money? How will I be able to carry girls? How will I be able to, to how will people around Parklands know that I have money? Everywhere pepper soup for me. Everywhere marama. Too much money. Now the pastor is saying that I should, what, what are all these? I think this is a lot. My God. Man. My God. My Chinedu, brother. Chinedu is your money. Oh. I had that, our brother. Chinedu. He was spraying money at the club yesterday. I am going to buy out of this money one day. Today? Hi. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Tell me something. I told my boss that I was not feeling fine. Yes. So I can skip work. When and yeah, go I, and will enjoy you, I will leave you on the way. Let's, let's go and visit him. Come in. These are big men problem. They don't open up for you on time. My brother. I, one name my guy. My guy. One name my dude. What is going on? One my name my dude. See my ah. guy. My brother. Man. My you, God. You, no, you, no, you, no, you, 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 can you see the way I am blessed? You don't have to tell me. Can you see my stomach? I can my see brother. the amount of Can you me. see the blessing? You are too much. My brother, my brother. <laughs> see, okay. don't talk too much. Every day. Bring drink. Every yes. day. Hold on. You will get drink. Don't worry. This Every boy. day, at least, mm -hmm. I receive nothing less than 20 million rand. Cha. 20 too million much rand. money. Cha. I'm in money, my brother. One day you what will I offer you? Million. What will I offer you? With manya, manya. What, what do you want to drink? Any brand of money. What about you? Bring NSC. NSC. You have NSC. I have. Bring NSC. You will drink from the bottle today. Oh, bring don't worry, NSC. I am coming. I said you will drink from the bottle. Bring it. My brother. I am Can coming. I want to. I want to drink myself to stupor. You want to drink yourself to stupor? To stupor. In another mass morning. I want to enjoy myself. You want to change your mentality. Yo. My brother. You want to drink you know, yourself to you know stupor? I told my boss Guys. that I'm not coming to work. When I say I am blessed, I am blessed, Chile. my brother. Chile. Drink from the bottle. In fact, Drink from the bottle. Don't use cup. We, I don't use cup in my house. Should we pop it? Pop, if you want to bath with it, bath with it. Let's enjoy this money. There is money. This is money. All the offers are everywhere. Pop. Pop as you like. When the ego on one son name. Your money has son name. Oh. I say you should pop. Pop, pop, drink from bottle. 
If you can't finish it, take it home. Gina, I do. This is money. My brother, are you a bushman? Don't you know how to open champagne? I told you that boy is an old man, no. He's an old man. You are taking time to enjoy this money, my friend. I want to drink. In fact, my cup is too full. <laughs> Today, we will drink. <laughs> <laughs> we are I do. This is money. I'm in money, my yeah, brother. We are spending the money. I want to drink. drink. To we drink. want to spend the money. Who is, who is this man? Who is this? My brother. Uh, your who is your brother? Uh, who is, uh, who uh, is this uh, man? Come and enjoy. You are saying, my brother. Where are you guys going to? You are, no, I, don't, I don't drink alcohol. You I don't drink alcohol. Who is this I man? I don't drink alcohol. See. Where are you guys going to? See. My brother. Yes. I'm in money. I if see. you want to enjoy with us, Come with us tonight. I'm shutting down the club. No. Kubana, they already, they, there is a reservation for me already there. No, you don't need to go tonight, to the club. Tonight, I want to oh, shut down. Let me tell you something. Different girls, all the girls are there. They, they, do, they are waiting do, for us. If you don't want to go with us, if you don't want to go with us, continue serving this God. Guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go to church. Guys, let's go. Let's go, guys. Good. Look at me and my Bible. Every time, every time, I'll be praying. I'll be fasting. Ah, Father Lord, when will this offering end? Ah, Father Lord, remember the word you have for me this year. That is my year of fruitfulness and multiplication. Anyway, I believe your word. That said, they, they know that God is served. They shall be strong and they will do great exploits. Anyway, let me be going to church. Every time, I'll be carrying my Bible. Look at my Bible safe. Ah, my Bible is even bigger than my head. Anyway, let me go. Let me go to church. Ah. Man, yesterday night was something else. Look at, hey, I wanted to kiss somebody. Those girls, they almost break my waist. If not for that JD I brought from Nigeria, last night would have been something else. Total marathon. See guess yeah, see guess yeah. Wow. What this is enjoyment. What which man? I'm living the life. This is the life I prayed for. This is the life I'm living. It's our year of fruitfulness and multiplication. I've already multiplied. I'm in money. Wow. Last night was marathon. Wow. This is enjoyment. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Chine, do my guy. She didn't do my guy. You are here this morning. I judge my working self. You are here this morning. I have judged my working self. So bro. last night club was not enough. <laughs> she didn't do. My brother, sit down. Thank sit you. down. Sit Thank down. You. <laughs> she didn't do. I have one big question for you. Let me tell you one thing. Okay. Do you know last night? I brought four guests from Kubana. She didn't one day they, look. they are in my bedroom now. I said last night was a thunderbolt. Chine, do hold on. Take it easy. Chine, one year, one year. Are you married? What do you mean if I'm married? Good. Chine, do. If you want to enjoy more money, they say behind any successful How man, can I be married with all these girls around me? <laughs> are you? What are you talking about? I wonder. My brother, last night was something else. How do you survive? I will give you one JD I used last night. I said throughout the night. Yes. My dream. See, it was like this. <laughs> ah! All through the night, oppression. it was like this. Oppression. Serious oppression. Help your brother. Let me bring the JD I brought Go from Nigeria. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. Not, Wait for me. I am not ready to marry yet. Oh. Let me finish enjoyment. No marriage for now, oh, child. I want to be successful, so I need many women. Behind any successful man, there is a woman. So I need plenty of women to be more successful. Child. My brother, this JD, don't wait, wait, wait. This JD, don't take too much. This take is, one shot. This is just water. What do you mean? If you take one shot of this JD, the money, it will be like this. Hey, it will be like this. Day, it will be like this. It will be like this. Gine, do. Those Gine, don't do. take too short, oh. You know I'm an Igbo boy. Don't take too short, oh. I am not that Yoruba boy, Take one shot. If you take one <laughs> shot, I am from Ibadan. Ah. I know what I'm talking about. If you take one shot, 
It will be like this. I will, I will, I will it will be like you. this. I will call Give you. me the testimony. Gine, do. Tell me about the testimony. I am going to do something. Give me the testimony. Father Lord, I thank you. I worship your name, O oh Lord. Look at look at this morning, now fresh this morning. New shoes, new everything. Father Lord, I'm grateful. My prayer and my fasting was not in vain. Believing you, believing you was not in vain. Ah, Father Lord, I thank you. You have done so much for me. I can't even count them. I can't even imagine the things that you have done for me. Anyway, let me keep going to church now. I have to go and praise that Lord. That, that blessed me. Let me go to church. Let me go to church. What a word. All these South African guests have finished my life. All my blessings, my money, my cars, I sold everything. Oh, God. Now I'll be going back to the village. God, too much enjoyment is no good. Now I am broke. No more money. All the guests, they have disappeared. Since I don't have money now, I am not the big boy in Parklands anymore. Now I am suffering. Hey, God, too much enjoyment is no good. Oh. <sighs> what a life. God. <sighs> now, even the doctor told me that I have 10 days to live on this earth. That sickness I have. God, can you save me from this sickness? <sighs> My life is a complete mess. It's a total mess. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. Am I going to die? Oh. Who, who is calling me? Chi Chi Wan. Hello? Chi Chi Wan. Chi Chi Wan. It's me, Bassi. Ba Which Bassi is this? Bassi, now your supply, now Chine, do I be forgetting about me? So, yeah. Supply what? Bassi, see, let me tell you, I have some fresh fish for you. See, Bassi. If you... Bassi, yeah, you what are you there, saying? They are clean. Clef. This one's a fresh one. Get a beautiful one from Brazil. Idiot. See, Bassi, we are that people who drink. Please, fast and come there now. See. See, my brother, guess, guess we kill you there. That pepper soup joint that you are, pepper soup water will enter your eye. Don't call me anymore. What do you mean? Hello, Bassi. Hello? Hello? Don't come. Nonsense. Thinking of how I will recover from this sickness, you are telling me about girls. Guess we kill you there. Pepper soup water will enter your eye there. Don't, don't ever call me anymore. What a word. Call me. Am I dreaming? No, you are not dreaming. What? Uh, remember the word of God that says, when he told the captivity of Zion, they were like those that dread. Your yes. own captivity is more than Zion. Don't worry. You, are, you are looking good. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Let me turn around for you. You see now. Just watch. You are in money. Watch, 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 watch. But why are you looking like one bricklayer? What happened to you? My brother, I'm suffering. You're suffering. All the girls, they finished my money. Yo, really? I sold my car. <laughs> I sold my house. Jesus. I am suffering. Do you even know that the doctor told me I have 10 days to live on this earth? No, 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 no. You can't believe the doctor's report. No. Remember the word of God that says all the, those reports shall we believe. Live, see, I, I, I'm not even sure God can deliver me from this sickness. Of course, God will deliver they you. God they, will said, deliver they, you. Said, they said this it, is too much alcohol. Really? Yes. This okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I need to pray for you. Please. Do you believe God can heal you? I believe, yes. but I have suffered too much. Listen, listen, I, came, I came here with my prayer warrior, my, my HOD from, from prayer team. Okay. His name is David. Are you sure God can hear me? We will pray for you. Okay. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, remember your word that says you sent forth your word. He healed them and he delivered them of all of their destruction. Father, Lord, every pain and disease, oh Lord, I cause them from their root in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Stand up. Check yourself. Check yourself. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Do what you cannot do. Do what you cannot do. Check the pain yourself. is gone. Check yourself. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. My beloved oh, brothers I'm and sisters. I'm here. I ask I'm you here. a question tonight. When you are blessed, what do you do? Do you stay to where you are being blessed or you run out of the church? Being like that particular brother, Chinedu, who left the place of his connection and became affected by alcohol. I ask you a question, my brothers and sisters. If you are here tonight and God blesses you, what will you do? Will you remain connected or you stay disconnected? If you stay disconnected, remember what happened to that brother. You may not have a second chance. But remember the other brother who God blessed. Did not only stay connected, but he grew in the world. I ask you a question. When you are being blessed, do you allow yourself to grow in the world, but you remain in the world? I ask you this question. Have this at the back of your mind. In this particular conference, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay connected and grow in the word of God, or you are going to get disconnected? Ask yourself this question when you go home, and give yourself an answer. God bless you. A clap offering for the drama group. A clap offering, a clap offering. Hallelujah. Okay, while the drama was going on, the angel over this commission walked in. I want you to stand onto your feet as we put your hands, as we bring to the microphone our daddy in the Lord, God's harbinger. If you're happy and you know, sit down. Please help me celebrate uh, the awesome drama group. Put your hands together for them. And also, I want us to, to join me and celebrate the men's choir. They've been doing wonderfully. you to understand, like I've told, I used to tell the leaders that the hardest place you can ever lead is in the church. Because you may not have to sack people, you may not have to train them. Uh, it becomes difficult to lead people because at times in church is where we have people who know what is wrong. They will do it wrong when you correct them, they say you are judging them. So it becomes a difficult thing to lead in the church. Praise God. So whenever you see anybody leading and is working, always appreciate that person. He's going through a lot. Help me celebrate the chairman and his leadership group. All the men, put your hands together for them, celebrate them. Celebrate them. And please, I know they also have a wonderful committee that has made this thing to be like this. Please celebrate the chairman of the committee and his group. May heaven bless all of you. May God reward you. What I have been telling you is that a time comes when we can't do these things again for God. As long as you have life and have time, use it for God. A time comes when you can't do it. Is that clear? And there are many who wish if they were born complete like you, that have done much for God. But if you are born complete and you are useless for God, then I don't know how we can do things. Always be useful in the house of God because no matter 
what you acquire on earth. One day, when the bell rings, when your turn comes and the bell rings, forget of all the houses, all the cars, all the money. None will ever go with you. It is your, only your kingdom service that heaven will reward. Will reward you for. So, I've learned that and it's very, very wonderful. Please, I want you to, the protocol should have their seat. Whenever a man poop it here, all of them should have their seat. Not when the speaker is preaching, somebody is moving up and down. I don't want to, and that should be corrected today. Is that clear? How many of you are ready? It has been awesome. And uh, I won't forget to say thank you to all of you who contributed uh, financially, all the men and those who made special commit, financial commitments to put this conference together. You have seen that that year, a little token of 1,000, 5,000, 6,000 has been a blessing to somebody. And that's know how God will not replenish your pocket. Praise God. Uh, so, do whatever you can do for God. The best place you can ever walk is in the house of God. I'm the one telling you. That is why you see, if you go to Nigeria today, say our, our former president, our, main, our current, uh, uh, our current uh, vice president, it was a pastor. Most of the senators there are all pastors. How did they start? They became ministers, workers, from workers to become ministers. They were not called by God, but, but they decided to work for God. Most of them today, you look at where he is. From nowhere he became the attorney. From the attorney, state attorney, he became the vice president. From there, look at where all of them are. Working for God will always take you somewhere. Never you think you are, you are too big to do something for God. Because you are giving the life to do it for God. And whenever you become big for God, you are, big for, you are heading for destruction. Please, take that to heart and it will surely help you. And uh, number two, Psalm 60. I want to read a place for you. Psalm 60. Verses, I mean, verses 11 says, Give us help from trouble. For the help of man is useless. Through God, we will do valiantly. For it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Is that clear? It is only God that will tread down your enemies. It's only God that will help you to do valiantly. And it's only God that can give you the right help. Every other help is useless. You are personal. You can't help yourself. Is it not true? Yeah. And nobody can help you. It's only God that can help you. Now, I want, to, I want you to put this thing to mind before I write guess, I mean, God's servant. You must know that nobody on this earth succeeds in the journey of life without the help of God. Let it enter here, all of you. Nobody. There's some churches you go to Nigeria, sir. You will see directors of banks who are ushers, directors of banks who are just ushers. I know one when I used to pastor Redeemed Church. Directors of banks. I mean, people that can buy a community. You see directors and bank managers who are ushers, and you see God lift them, lifting them up. You will see a lot of people. They stand there, they usher. When they say the church needs 100 million, you see the person standing on the road, begin the church to give. That's humility, and that's the beginning of greatness. Because in the journey of life, you know, at times where we are now, all of us here today, we have taught you us many times, don't allow the environment to regulate you. When you carry the grace of God, you become a global champion, not a local champion. The essence of this thing is not for you to be known in your locality. Grace gives you global name. It gives you global vision. It gives you global prosperity. Is that clear? Because when you look around you, you think you are arriving, but you have not started the journey if grace is working with you. Now, when I say this to all of you, that no man succeeds the journey of life without the help of God. Put it in your mind. Write it in your book if you care. And nobody that God is helping will ever fail the journey of life. Nobody that God is helping will ever fail in the journey of life. 
the Bible says, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning, God created. Anytime you allow God to come in, it becomes a, a, a new beginning for a new creation in your life. In the beginning, God created. Any day, no matter how horrible your life is, you allow God into your life. You submit to the lordship of God in your life. You forget of whatever you know and submit to God. That day, a new creation started in your life. And this conference should bring you to a point of, so, okay, it's my new beginning. Let God start it new with me. Is that clear? Because you are not born again to fail again. You are born again to reign again. And that is all I can say to all of you. Nobody will touch heaven. This life, you can't touch heaven. When you get to where you get to, you still come back. Because there's nothing new. Uh, uh, they sent me a car today, which I sent to uh, some of you. I didn't say you should go and buy it. If you buy it, I will show you paper. It will not start. <laughs> but I'm just showing you, that's the latest uh, Peugeot e-legend. Who say yes? <laughs> eh? Let me catch any of you. Say you buy it. It doesn't have door. Don't, uh, the steering, you press the button, the steering comes out. You press the thing, the door. It doesn't have a handle. He hears the voice. If he said, follow me, the car follows you. <laughs> so, another one will still come out. So you cannot touch heaven. All of you should learn to be humble. And make God, in the beginning, God. Let God be in the beginning of your life and start a new beginning in your life. And you're going to have a good, peaceful, loving life on earth. And uh, I want to say also to you that don't forget it, whether you like it or not. You're not coming back here again. I hope you know. Yeah. So maximize the time. Allow God to bring out the best he can bring uh, out of you. Allow God to use you so that by the time you arrive here, he can say to you, well done, my dear daughter, my dear son. Because other ones, other ones, if you like, there are none of them will go here. You know, every day we go for funeral with a long listing. We don't see that despite all the cars, all the houses you have, no one goes with you. It is only a kingdom service that God will reward you. Therefore, if you are working, doing everything, being too busy, you have not worked for God. You have wasted your time on earth. Because after here, you have no reward. Rise to your feet. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, without much ado, I told you that a man is coming today to be a blessing to us. Yeah, we've met uh, of, I think two, three times now, but uh, one of my boss recommended him for some years ago, I said, you must bring him to be a blessing to the church. Well, you remember, I've, every day we learn. Uh, I don't bring, I try to curtail bringing everybody, except people I know can bless you and have integrity. So, that is what we do. And we thank God when God brings people uh, of that caliber to us. Listen to me, everybody. Every man you see has his own grace. Any man God calls has an oil and a grace that follows him. Whenever you meet them, humble yourself and get something. His coming here may not be for all of us, but it could be to end somebody's affliction. And if you're that person, you are not here. God is not losing. You are losing. If you're that person you fail to receive, he will still go. Somebody else somewhere will, will be blessed. So, but so open your mind, get ready to encounter God through the grace He has sent our way. Ladies and gentlemen, He is the general overseer of Gloryland Embassy in Ghana. I want you, wherever you are, the Bible says, Nobody take this on upon Himself except whom God has called as He has called Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, with a shouting ovation. Show me as welcome to the pulpit, God's servant, prophet, Dominic Ando Owusu. Come on, celebrate this grace as he picks the microphone. I am fearfully made. 
I belong to God. I resemble him. I am wonderfully made. I am fearfully made. I belong to God. I resemble him. That is Come why I put your hands together for Jesus. Hear me say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to just go to 10 people. Make sure you hug them and tell them something is about to happen tonight. Make sure you convince them something is about to happen tonight. Your life will never be the same. Talk to somebody, prophesy on them. Your life will never be the same. And if that person is your best friend, tell them they are next in line for a miracle. They are next in line for a miracle. They are next in line for a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. How many of you are excited tonight? If you know the address of the devil, tell him he's in trouble tonight. I said the devil is in trouble tonight. And whilst you are still standing, help me appreciate the most anointed man of God. God has given you. Is that the best you can do for your man of God? Celebrate the gift of God. Man of God, I salute you, sir. Hallelujah. And of course, celebrate the mama of the house. Celebrate the mama of the house. Celebrate all the pastors, the leaders, the elders, the deacons, the men's fellowship leaders. Hallelujah. And of course, there's somebody standing right next to you that is a VIP. So celebrate that VIP standing next to you. Man, man, I don't know what you are doing, but celebrate that person. Hallelujah. And with a bit of aggression in your eyes, tell them you are lucky to be sitting next to me. Hallelujah. Can we have church tonight? Can we have church tonight? Lift your hands up. Father, in Jesus' name, we colonize this place for your glory. We declare that tonight the glory of God shall be strong in this house. You sent me as a spokesman to announce somebody's victory. Dear God, I am ready. Angels are ready and I know you are ready. Tonight, prepare the heart of men and women to receive. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. And I declare before this meeting ends, give somebody a testimony. We honor you, Son of God, that nothing would withhold the miracle you are purposed to do. Move in this place, ride on me as you did the donkey to Jerusalem. And let Christ be glorified and have the preeminence tonight. Thank you, Holy Father, in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shouted, Amen. Amen. All right, you may take your seat. God bless you. I'm so excited to be here. I bring you greetings from Ghana. And I bring you greetings from my wife, Gloryland Embassy First Lady Georgina. Oh man, is that how to celebrate my wife as well? Hallelujah. And of course, I want you to understand that this whole thing about ministry is complementation. You may have to forgive my accent. I'm a Ghanaian, typical West African. Uh -huh. So, so just, just agree with me. Hallelujah. Yeah, this whole thing about ministry is complementation. I, I'm not really coming to do anything extraordinary from what Papa has always been doing here. Are you with me? But I believe that I have come by the grace of God to announce somebody to their next level. The loudest your amen, the quicker your miracle. And by the grace of God, I have had the privilege of ministering at places and I operate in a dimension of the prophetic. And I need you to understand there is an atmosphere that provokes the prophetic. The other day in your Bible, I'm not preaching from that subject, but just a detour. The Bible says that Saul sent to go and look for donkeys. And the Bible said that as he was just looking for donkeys, looking for donkeys, looking for donkeys, the Bible said he went through four strategic cities and he could not find them until he met a man of God. Understand that your journey of destiny will see the next level when you encounter a man of God. And I came to merge my grace with the grace of the apostle of the house to announce to you you are next in line for a breakthrough. 
If you shouted amen, the testimony is knocking at your door. But before I do that, all things were made by the word. So I'd like to get into the word. John chapter 3, if you are there, shout amen. Are you sure? John chapter 3 from verse 1. I'd like us to do from verse 1 to verse 9. John chapter number 3 from verse 1 to 9. If you are there, shout amen. amen. I'll read from my Bible and I'm sure you would also see it from your Bible. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Shout Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. <laughs> Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. Look at verse 8 and verse 9. The wind bloweth where it listeth. Thou hearest the sound thereof, but thou canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every man that is born of the Spirit. And look at the plight of Nicodemus. Nicodemus answered and said, how can these things be. Flip open Genesis chapter 1 from 26 to 28 where we are done. You can even take off your shoes and order for coffee or something. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. Are you there? And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moved upon the face of the earth. Close your Bible and look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, who am I? Ask your neighbor again, who am I? I, I want to submit a few things to us, ladies and gentlemen. I prepared to come and be a blessing to you. And I was given the theme, provoking fruitfulness and multiplication but as i did my study i discovered in destiny fruitfulness and multiplication are actually the function of a fulfilling life if a man is fulfilled that man automatically enters the place of fruitfulness and multiplication so in actual sense fruitfulness and multiplication are actually derivatives or products of a fulfilling life. Are you sure you came to church tonight? Wave at me if you are here. Maybe the glory is blinding my eyes, but I, it's fine. Hallelujah. I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen, but this thing about fulfillment has something to do with your functionality in life. In destiny, there are actually three discoveries that when a man is able to have everything else, including the car that daddy showed you, will submit to your beckon and call. Are you sure you came to church tonight? The first discovery is the discovery of God. Everybody shout God. Shout you say God. The second discovery is the discovery of who you are. And the last discovery is the discovery of why you are. Now, when you are able to master these three discoveries, you become the icon of your generation. 
And tonight I declare under this sun, somebody will become an icon to their generation. Ah, uh, this your amen is looking for my trouble. I say you become an icon to your generation. Regardless of your race, regardless of your societal standing, regardless of your educational status, an anointing will locate your destiny. You are going to be the first in your family that will announce your wealth to the next level. Somebody shout yes. Please sit. Can I talk to somebody? I, I want you to understand as simple as the matter of God is, it isn't everybody that has the awareness of God that truly knows God. I say it again. As simple as the subject of God is, it isn't everybody that has the awareness of God that truly knows God. As a matter of fact, in your Bible, First Samuel chapter 3, the Bible said, the boy Samuel ministered unto God before Eli. Verse 1. But verse 7 says, and Samuel did not yet know the law. So it is possible you can minister for him, preach for him, sing about him, dance and do a drama about God, and still not know the God to whom you are doing all this service. Are you sure you came to church? But tonight I pray that your eyes will open. I pray that you shall have revelation. I pray that you go past awareness into revelation. May you discover God in a dimension that will blow your mind. Hear me as I talk to somebody. The day you encounter God, the devil resigns from his work against you. Did you come to church tonight? The day a man encounters God, listen, if a car has a head-on collision with another car, the impact will be obvious. True or false? When you encounter the God of your father, no wonder I see your life going to the next level because you have encountered the God of your father. Get ready for another level. Get ready for another elevation. Get ready for another promotion. Somebody shout yes. Oh, can I preach this thing? I feel a preaching coming on me. When you encounter God, regardless of your degrees in destiny, the God you have discovered will become your announcer to the world. Are you sure you are here at all? Please sit, please. Can I talk to somebody here? I, I, can, can I flow? Can I preach like I feel it? It is important Samuel ministered to God. So the boy Samuel, as he laid down, probably was responsible for arranging the altar and preparing the sacrifice. But he did not know the Lord until God appeared unto him. My prayer for somebody tonight, may God appear unto you. I said, may God appear unto you. May God give you a revelation about himself. Your louder amen will announce you to your next level. Somebody shout yes. So much at the discovery of God. I don't care your degree. Somebody say you may have more degrees than a thermometer. The absence of God in your life is a life that has resigned into emptiness. We live in a dispensation where people think that it is old-fashioned to be a Christian. And some of you, I don't know maybe if the person came here. Some of you, I'm sure the person is not here. But some of you, you have, you have a form of religiosity on Sunday. But we don't see God on your life on Monday at your workplace. We don't see God on your life at your workplace where you do your business. But the devil is a liar. We will carry God wherever we go. We will wear God and smell God. God, we will eat God and drink God and be on the God we have won will introduce us to the next level. I hear prophetically there is new breed of millionaires imagine. Aha, 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 aha. There is new breed of millionaires imagine. There is new breed of financial moguls imagine. I don't care who doesn't like you. After tonight they will collect your number. I said after tonight they will collect your number. Shake your legs out. Yes. Sit down. C can I preach like I feel it? Am I boring you? Can I preach this thing? 
Listen, it is imperative. For, can, can, are we doing men's convention? Speak to the men. Man, it is beyond your six packs. Have some God packs on your life. Are you sure you are here? Because you know as far as I know that no matter what there are things in destiny your says past cannot confront. I'll go there, don't worry, don't worry, I'll go there, I'll go there. Can I talk to somebody? So the discovery of God escorts you to the discovery of you. Because there is really no you without him. But the error for some of us is that we, we are stuck at just the place of religion. So some of us, God has just become a ceremonial God. We come and worship. But he says that in him we move. In him we live. Then in him we have. So our definition is within the parameters of God. The day you discover God, you discover you. That is why I am too sure why the devil is running away from you. Because when he sees you, he sees a prototype of God. When he sees you, he sees somebody he cannot handle. Oh, are you his cousin? So why, not, why are you not happy? The, the, the devil sees you, he will run away. Hey, are you sure you are here at all? Can I talk to somebody? So when you discover God, you discover you. I have done ministry. Don't, don't, don't mind the body, mind the engine. I have done ministry for two decades in various capacities. And all over the world, as God has given me grace to travel the nations, I have seen the greatest tragedy in life. It's not death. The greatest tragedy in life is the tragedy of identity crisis. I'll go to some very awkward places, but it's fine. We are still, we are still friends. The reason why a lady wakes up in the morning and spends close to two hours polishing her face. And, and doing all the, the gimmicks. I think that is a quest for identity. That's what I think. Do you agree? No, 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 no. Tell me if it is not identity. They do it and wash it away in the evening. And they wake up again and do it and wash it away in the evening. Can I preach this thing? But that is on a lighter note. If you, if you examine the issues of our world, there is this thing called identity. You may not own up to it. You may not even own up and say, prophet, yes, what you are saying is the truth. But listen to me, I know that I know that what I'm saying is the truth. Somewhere in the basement of your soul, you cry out daily because really you don't know you. And I know you've read the story I read to you in John chapter 3. You've read it severally. But let me pick it from this obscure angle. The Bible said that Nicodemus comes to Jesus, not in the day. He comes to him in the night. And the writer of the Bible was meticulous as he spent time to tell us who Nicodemus is. But what they don't know is that no matter the adjectives they use to describe you, you are not what they say. That is why when they look at you and they say you are nobody, don't believe them. Because there's a king in you. There's a greatness in you. There's a champion in you. There's a world changer in you. There's a kingdom mover in you. Don't believe their lies. The world has the propensity of describing you if you don't tell them who you are. Oh, you don't know society. Society will tell you, you can't do it. He would, and society is, society is even far. Your friends will tell you who you are based on your inadequacies. They maximize what you don't have. They maximize your weakness. And they project your mistakes in the past and they define you within the arm 
repeat of your mistakes. Honey, you can do it and not be it. You didn't hear what I said. I said you can't do it and not be it. Yes, you did the abortion, but you are not a murderer. It was a mistake. Somebody broke your heart, broke your nose, broke your waist. He broke everything, but you are still not a dejected person. There is a king inside of you. And before this conference ends, I see your new you. I said, I see your new you. Hey! Somebody said yes. Sit down for two minutes. Let me try and navigate to this thing. Am I talking to somebody at all? Nicodemus comes to Jesus not in the day. Look at the writer of the Bible, and this guy, Nicodemus, is a Pharisee. Pharisee. If you did a bit of a study, a Pharisee actually is a lawyer. A man that is expert at the Mosaic laws. The guy knew the rudiments of the Levitical regulations. The guy could, could recite the Ten Commandments and even more. And not only that, Nicodemus sat in the Sahindrin. Sahindrin means the judge. So he was part of the jury. He was part of the judges. So look at the writer. He, he says all these things about this guy. But this guy knew. He had them all and still empty. There is somebody listening to me right now. I know you are excited. You are clapping and jumping. But deep down your heart, you are, you are empty. And can I say, the reason why you want to prove to us all that you are somebody, is that really you are empty. Because if you know who you are, you don't have anything to prove. Because if you wait and throw stones at every dog that barks at you, you will never fulfill destiny. You are busy proving yourself to your critics that will not accept your proofs. But ladies and gentlemen, after tonight, your results will silence their insults. I say your results, the glory coming on you, the power coming on you, they will look at you, they will not have words to talk about you again. Shall say, I receive, I receive. Nicodemus comes to Jesus. Listen, sit down, please. Everybody has a nice seasons of their life. Your God, when he created the heavens and the earth. But this is the interesting thing I love about God. The Bible said the ways of God are past finding out. Can I really tell you who a prophet is? A prophet really, it's not somebody that can tell you that there's a witch. Even before prophecy comes, there's a witch hiding somewhere in your family. If you are looking for a prophet, he's the one sitting right there. Are you sure you are here at all? Of course, I will say a few things that will tell you I'm a prophet. But listen, a prophet is a custodian of divine oracles. I say two things now. Look at your God. When he created his universe, the Bible says that an evening and morning was the first day. Did you see that in your Bible? But wait a minute. If you are telling somebody that you will give them a call by close of day to day, what are you saying? You are saying that up from morning up until night, you give them a call. So you end your day by your night, but your God begins your day with your night. You didn't get it, but I will still drive it for you to get him. You may be in your night seasons weeping and crying, broken, dejected, ostracized. You are dejected, but hey, weeping and Dios for a for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. They, they cannot conclude on you. Yes, you are crying. You are weeping. You are broken. You are disappointed, but don't Give up, just hang in there as the clock continues to tick. I see the dawning of a new day, the dawning of a new morning, new opportunities, new glory, new mercy, new power. Somebody said yes. Can I preach for two more minutes? I feel this preaching coming on me and Nicodemus comes to Jesus. In the night, he couldn't come in the day because one of the deterrents of discovering your identity is what I call pseudo-prosperity. Pseudo-false prosperity. 
Have you not seen people that look like it, but they don't have it? That you cannot preach. <laughs> You look like them, they smell Amwaj and Creed Aventus. They smell Aqua de Perm. You look at them, they have a nice perfume, but they don't have any sin. You meet them, you meet them, and they speak the Queen's English, you know, some was ill, was ill, but yet they don't have any sin. And sometimes when they hide within the confines of false prosperity, it will not pre- it will not afford them the opportunity to go for the real thing. And some of you, I dare say, for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, the reason why nobody wants to help you is because when they look at you, you present a form that you don't need help. Oh, I will preach till the devil gets mad. You meet this lady and the lady really needs you but she's faking it. You propose and and he cannot cannot go there. Men cannot go there. Can Can I help her brother here? So you, so you are proposed to this lady and you know that this lady really needs that thing, but you know, Shakara, she's doing sh- is it Shakara? Shakara. She's doing Shakara, Shakara. Are you listening to me at all? Sometimes remove the veil and reach out for help because you need help. David came to the place of his destiny. He said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh forth my help. It is not a show of weakness when you look for help. It is rather exercise in wisdom. Don't worry, if you don't clap, I brought angels. They are clapping right here. Can I preach for two more minutes? Pseudo, pseudo, pseudo prosperity. So this guy is a, is a Sahindin. This guy is a Pharisee. This guy has accolades. This guy has the flair. This guy drives the latest car. This guy lives in the latest mansion. This guy cannot even afford it, but he's still living it, faking it to live it. So this guy cannot come to Jesus, but Nicodemus says that enough is enough. He comes to Jesus in the night. Typical of people like that, when they come to him, they will not tell you they need help. They will start giving you praises. Oh God. He comes to Jesus and, you know, you are too fine, man of God. This miracle, sir, this supernatural miracle, see. No man can do these miracles you do, except God is with you. It was a praise, but Jesus ignored the praise. Because when you fake, your praise doesn't carry weight. Jesus gave a parable. He said two people were praying. And when they were praying, one of them said, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. If you don't know, let me tell you. I have been fasting twice every week. Oh, Jesus. I give offerings even when daddy has not got for offerings. Jesus. So he's telling God that this he did. And Jesus said there's another man that is lying somewhere at the corner who cannot even lift up his head. It's a tear at at the corner of his eyes. And all he's saying is God have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And Jesus says amongst these two, the one that God hears most is the one that came from the place of sincerity. Sometimes the person you are pretending about is also in need of help. So you are pretending and she is pretending. We are all pretending. Of course, ladies, why won't we pretend? Because now you have raised the standard. At first it was six pass, so we all started going for the gym. Now it's no more six pass. It's six figures. Six figures. Can I preach for two more minutes, please? How many two minutes have I done so far? Praise the Lord. So Jesus goes past the praise of Nicodemus. Nicodemus. 
Did you say Nicodemus? Nicodemus is worth examining because even his name is an apology to his destiny. I tell you what. Nicodemus means people's victory. People's victory. So you see, what? eight years ago, you brought this sister to the church. You were very, very hard working in the church. In fact, when daddy had not even appointed you any role, you still find a role for yourself. You are so vibrant in every area department of the church. Yet no man has even called you wanting to get married to you. Now, five months ago, you brought this sister to the same church. And this sister that didn't even look like a Christian. This one was somebody you borrowed from the streets. Brought him to church. She encountered the word Papa preached. Gave her life to Christ. Five months later, he has met, she has met the man who is your fantasy. And now they are going to get married. And you are the bridesmaid. People's victory. And all your life, all you do is to witness people's victory. They throw the bouquet, you catch it. Yet nothing is happening to you. People's victory. You were there when he met the lady. You were there when he proposed to the lady. He being solicited for your opinion. And because you were pretending, you told the lady is fine. So he went ahead to marry this lady. You were his best man. You were there when he bought his first house. Did the house want me? You were there. And you cannot even boast of a single room. People's victory. All your life, all you do is to applaud on people and cheer them on. And you look at your life and you say, when will it be my turn? People's victory. You have become a spectator of people's lives. Nicodemus. And there comes a time in your life when you get sick of just spectating on people and they tell you, don't be jealous. How can't you be jealous? When you look at yourself, you have all this, the, the physique, the shape, the, the thrills, the heels, the fingertips. You have them all and yet no guy is even saying, Hello. I was there that morning when you woke up and I thought you were very, very, you didn't have a good dream. Not knowing you were angry at yourself. You woke up from your sleep, stood in the mirror and said, Mirror, am I not beautiful? <laughs> you spent two hours battling with the mirror. Truly, you are beautiful. You are, you are beautiful and smart. But there is something that must happen. And tonight, it will happen. I said tonight it will happen. He comes to Jesus in the night. People's victory. And then beyond the prayer, Jesus says, Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Of course, he's a learned man, so he comes to Jesus. He says, well, Jesus, what are you talking about? I am more than 70 years old. How can I go again into my mother's womb to be born? And Jesus said, Nicodemus, no, no, no. I'm not talking about that one. Except you are born of the spirit and water. You, you cannot enter the kingdom. The man is confused and confused. The man is confused, totally lost. What is Jesus saying? Then I'm, I'll, be, I'll be finishing the next 10 minutes. Stay with me. Stay with me. Now, he tells Jesus, how can this thing be? Then Jesus says, what is born of the flesh is flesh. Not will be flesh. Not is flesh plus something else. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. And whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Then Nicodemus still doesn't understand pneumatology. So he says to Jesus, can you go on and explain? Then Jesus says the big thing. He says, Nicodemus, do you know the wind? He says, yes. Can you feel the impact of the wind? He says, yes. But can you see the wind? He says, no. Then he said, Nicodemus, so is every man that is born of the spirit. So is every man that is born again. I'll 
go right where you want me to go. All this while, what we saw was your organic self, your anger, your sexuality, your emotional tantrums. That is all we saw. And we conclude that you are a bad person. But Jesus is saying that you are not an organic person. You are a spirit. You are a spirit, and if you are a spirit, no man can tame you because you cannot tame the wind. No man can predict you, so no man can predict the wind. He says, As the wind, so are you. You may be quiet, but you can still be rough. I came here, child of God, to announce to somebody the wind is coming around, the spirit is coming around. I see an unfair of that dimension of you that is glorious and powerful after tonight the world will see you they'll be amazed at your impact the world will see you they'll be excited at your impact why because that spirit dimension is coming around i'm closing he says that now the wind blows where it wants it wants it wants that means that if you understand that you're a spirit no man can put a limit on your life. No man. You will discover that the devil is no longer a factor. That the only factor is your imagination. Nicodemus, as I see you, you are like the wind. No man can predict your movement. That is why I find it difficult to understand why they said a witch has tamed your destiny. You cannot tame the wind, so you cannot tame my life. Mm. Can I talk to somebody? There is something about you that after tonight you will notice for the first time in your life. You will know you can count millions. Not somebody's money, your own money. You will know that you also deserve the best. You know why? Because as he is, so are you. I did all. He says that let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So what wind are we talking about? We are talking about your spirit God. And as he is a spirit, so are you. Listen, jump on your feet as I close. If you don't jump, I won't close. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I'm a typical West African, so there's a way we pray, and I thank God that Daddy has shown you how to pray. How many of you are, are praying, say, God, I want the next level of my life? Are you sure? I used to think that I need to go to school. So I, I went to school, I did, I specialized in accident and emergency, critical care. But there were times I was at the theater working on patients and I would see angels. Told my dad, you know what, this thing is not working. I'll put medicine aside and I'll, I'll go for my calling. My dad for two years did not talk to me. He looked at me and said, do you want to join the league of these broke pastors? Then he said, have you not seen their shoes? Don't look at mine. <laughs> have you not seen their shoes? Do you want to be part of them? For two years. My dad thought that embracing the call for my life was, was, uh, was an exercise of futility. When I embraced the call, six months later, I say this, you know, I'm not the type that like to talk to but I say this just to make a point. Six months later, I bought him his SUV. He didn't know that I had bought a car for him, so I drove the car to his village, went, then I called him, I said, Dad, come. He looked at it. He said, whose car is that? So you've gone to borrow a friend's car? I said, no. This is the key, it's yours. Where did you get that kind of money? I looked at him. I told him, I said, God is a good employer. He's a rewarder. And people of God, when I discovered me, life has been on a different level. Tonight, I don't care about the person who didn't come here. I'm concerned about you. 
if you will pray, the veil in your eyes will tear open. And then you begin to discover you are more than a human. That there can never be any limit that can be put on your destiny. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Loud and clear say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, in this atmosphere, as I clap and pray, Holy Father, reveal my identity to me. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Hey, clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Reveal, reveal. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Reveal. Shatakapos. Shakatapos. Shalalalalosa. Shatakaparakasa. Oh my God, clap your hands. Hey, 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 clap your hands. Let the limits be broken. Let the limits be broken. Let the limits be broken. Ushers, where are you? Let the limits be broken. Let limitation be broken. Loose it. Let the limit be broken. Oh, clap your hands. Shut up, Arakasha. Let the limits be broken. Let the limit be broken. Hey! Sotorokosha. Let the limits be broken. Kararosa. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Somebody shall speed. speed. Shall say, say speed. speed. One of the evidence of the wind is that the wind has speed. The Lord spoke to me. He said there are people here. You are going to do in two months what others have used 20 years to do. Ah. Who is Anita? She's your wife. Come. Mm, stand here. Who is Fred? Me, sir. You are Fred. Yes. Jesus. Can I have oil? I wanted to prophesy we start tomorrow, but I, Jesus. Everybody lift up your hands. Wait, put your hands down, please. Let me ask you a question. Is there somebody here that is saying, prophet, I want God to give me speed in destiny. Is there somebody here like that? Are you sure? Is there so? Listen, the second tragedy in destiny to me is traffic. Traffic. You are supposed to come to a place at 6 a.m. because of traffic. You can miss the appointment. Child of God, are you, are you ready for prayer? Lord and clear, say in the name of Jesus. As I clap and pray, I provoke speed on my destiny. Clap your hands. Jam your feet. Pray. Speed. 
Ay, kalararasa. Hey, kararosa. Give me oil. Oil. Sata. Sata. Oil. 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 Rakatatos. 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 Kalili Satos. Paya, paya, paya. Give him speed. Give him speed. Give him speed. Hey! Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Sarakasa. Ikararos. Speed. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Speed. Let her go. I break the spirit of delay. Loose. Let her go. Loose her. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Release her. Release her. Release her. Release her. Oil. Sataka. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Speed. 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 Push it. You have two minutes. Push it. Push it. Push it. Speed. Hey, Kararasa. Himalatuasa. Veleketis. Ratazata. Palalalaosa. Kilalalalaosa. Adimakata. Paliatos. Himalatuasa. Speed. Speed. This one. Take it. Young lady, take it. Speed. Speed. Any veil that covered your destiny. Catch fire. Catch fire. Let her go. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Do you know anybody in Tanzania? Yes, he's my uncle. Stand here. Your uncle. Tonight is not a prophetic night, but I need to deliver you. When I laid hands on the lady and I prayed, prophetically, I saw a casket. And the casket was catching fire. Prophetically, there's a projection. If I don't, don't be scared, all right? Yes. Are you scared? No. If you are, if you are scared, I'll stop. No, I'm not scared. He reveals so that he will redeem. Yes. All right? Yes. Now, when God visits your neighbor, it means he's in the neighborhood. Yes. So prophecy for one is prophecy for all. Yes. We are stopping the, the assignment of the assassin. Yes. Any spirit that wants to take the life of this young man back to sender. Yes. Can we pray that prayer? Yes. Shall I say in the name of Jesus? Yes. Evil casket. Yes. Wherever you are hiding. Yes. Waiting for my life. Yes. Wherever you are. As I pray, catch fire. Clap your hands. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, clap your hands. Soto Kotosa. Sarararosa. Satatatatakos. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. My God, my God, what is this? What is this? Somebody stand behind this lady. Restoration, take it. Restoration, 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 restoration. Pick up, pick up, lift your hands. Restoration, take it, take it, pick up. Restoration. Take it. Take it. Take it. Jesus.
Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Pick up. My God. Loose her. Release her. Every bondage. Release her. Every altar from your father's south. Loose. You take three steps forward. You. Lift your hands. Where's your wife? She's in Nigeria. I see a star on you. But that star, listen to me now. I'm a prophet of God. Don't ever leave that woman. Don't ever. That woman is your backbone. Do you understand? Yes. Do you love her? Yes. How much? So much. Uh huh. All right? Because when I laid hands on that lady, I saw the angel of God standing next to you. And the angel of God said, I'm about to take him to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a name like o o Osas? I am. You are Osas. Jesus, come here. <laughs> Can we do two more prayer? Are you angry already? Stand here. Tonight, something will jump on you. Do, do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Something will jump on you. It's impossible to fall into a pool of water and not get wet. It's impossible. The devil's mistake is for him to allow you to come here. Even if you decide not to be blessed, it is too late. Are you clapping or you are attempting to clap? Somebody shout fire. I want us to pray. That there, there is an element called the spirit. You know, Jesus likens the wind to the spirit. Actually, what he was talking about was the spirit. Somebody shout the spirit. When the spirit of God comes upon your life. In your Bible, God has spoken to the prophet Elijah. Go and tell Ahab to get into the chariots and go to Jezreel. The Bible said as the king got to Jezreel, the hand of God came upon Elijah. He ran and overtook the chariot. Adi Mahata. Listen, many of you have dreams, but the dreams have just become mirage. Tonight, the spirit will come upon you. Whatever was an illusion will become a reality. Say in the name of Jesus. Listen, I know you are sweet people, you are good people, but I beg you, this prayer, don't stand at one place. Be pacing around and pray, all right? This is a prophetic act. Listen, we are saying, God, let your hand come upon me. That every dream that I have ever had in destiny, let it have come to pass. Say in the name of Jesus. As I pray tonight, I provoke the hand of God on my life. As I pray, I shall see the manifestation of my dream. Now, fire prayer, two minutes.
something is broken. Come on, push it. Come on, push it. <laughs> I see marital settlement. I see marital settlement. Provoke it. Provoke it. It will not be a dream. I see a manifestation. I see a manifestation. I see a manifestation. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Provoke it. Provoke it. Young man, take it. <laughs> Provoke it. Give me oil. New Manifestation. Hand of God. Hand of God. From today, no more disappointment. Anyone that has offered to help you, we release your help. Your destiny helpers. Take it. Oh, clap your hands and pray. Something is breaking. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. Are you a member of this church? Take, take it. Give it to me. Who is Chinedu? It's my former boss. Your former boss? Yes. Where you, where you used to work? Yes. Listen. The law says, correct every error that is working against his life. I'm about to correct every error. That is working against your life. Amen. I'm going to pour oil in your shoes. Will you be angry with me? Yes, you don't have a choice. No. Does he have a choice? No. Wear your shoes now. <laughs> this man, everybody watch him. In the next 60 months from now, you will see a millionaire. This one. Are you jealous? Listen. There are, there are matters that are very deep matters. What happened to this one? You see the ladies. You see what they are doing to my... Is it lipstick or... Hey. Daddy, this one is... I'm sorry. <laughs> there are deep things that I will not even say in the microphone. But as, you have, as your legs have entered this, look at me. Every mistake you did in your past is corrected. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, amen. anybody that is using whatever you did wrong in your past against you from today, God will dis disappoint that person. Amen. 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 I lay hands on you. I correct the errors of your destiny. Amen. And now receive speed. <laughs> Take it. Somebody shout fire. Can I have a bit of a space? Are you married to this man? And you ask, hold your wives. Don't hold, is that hard to hold your wife? Put your arms around, don't your hand. This guy is very romantic, this guy. Sir, take off your shoes. Give me your shoes. Psalm 91, 16. God says, with long life, 
He will satisfy you. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I saw in the realm of the spirit, you have become very old and advanced in age. Amen. And you are still strong. Amen. Amen. I don't like how you are clapping. Amen. I brought glad tidings of good news. If you clap, receive your own good news. By this prophetic covenant act, even if you decide to die, we won't permit. Amen. You live long. Amen. Why is the Lord saying that? Prophetically, the Lord took me to one of the days you were praying. And in the prayer, you prayed and engaged the covenant of long life. Because the Lord says, watch this. As a minister, I'm seeing an angel of God standing next to you. And this angel has taken off the clothes he's wearing and he has put on him a, a white apparel. Amen. Wait. And as he put on him that white apparel, I saw his beard became like gray, white. And he was advanced. Aish. And the Lord says, watch. Who is like a mecca? Who said take him in? And say the spirit of the Lord. Say the spirit of the Lord. Spirit of God. The force that takes people from your family will never come to you. Amen. Amen. Somebody, if you clap and shout, your portion is next. Shh. That guy is a wise man. He's sowing into this prophecy. Sir. I brought glad tidings of good news. Amen. And I declare, every negative voice that spoke contrary about your health, that voice is silenced. Amen. Amen. This altar will speak for you. Amen. Even in moments you cannot speak for yourself. Amen. Wear your shoe. Live long. Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Ah. But it's just men's convention. What is this? Close eyes, everybody. What is this? Nice. Close eyes. I saw in the realm of the spirit ten people. In fact, ladies, and I saw prophetically, I saw wedding rings. Watch, watch. Bring them forward. Anybody that falls under the power, take it now. Yes, that one, that one, that one. Close eyes. Yes, yes. Carry them. Watch over there, ushers. That one. Receive it over there. What is this? Ushers, I'm faster than you. Now take it. Take it. Take it. Carry them forward. Let me lay hands on them. Carry them forward. Bring them forward. Receive it now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Marital settlement. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah, take it. Ushers, where are you? Bring them. Marital Touch. Promise and fear. Break. Break. Take it. Pick this one up. Any serpentine spirit that has married you in the realm of the spirit. Fire. 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 Loose. Any marine power. Laying claims of your destiny. Break and go. Break and go. Let her go. Can I have water? Water. Loose this one. Loose this one. Let her go free. Everybody, lift your hands. Don't, 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 don't be looking. Don't be looking. In the name of Jesus, let her go. 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 Loose. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Who are you? Who are you? Uh -huh. You don't know. Now, loose this lady. Everybody clap and pray for her. Let her go free. Let her go free. You from the marine kingdom. Let her go free. 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 Let her go. Shh. 
Stretch out, everybody. Lift up hands. Lift up hands. Have I laid hands on them? Have I laid hands on this one? Mm. Let her go. Thank you, Lord. Take it. Take it. Take it. Have I laid hands on this one? Mm. Play something from C sharp. Pray. Play something from C sharp. Can I have I pray for this one? Everybody worship. Lift your hands and worship. Oh. Worship. Come on, worship. Let your worship go up. Thank you, Lord. Worship. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm. Have I laid hands on this one? Mm. Ah, who is like Irene? Ah. Touch! Mm. Everybody lift up your hands. What is this? I see miracles. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Glory. Sing something. You are the miracle worker. Uh -huh. Come, Come and do, do a miracle. A miracle today. Close your eyes. There's power here. Come and do a miracle. A miracle. Sing it again, sing it again. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Come and do a destiny. A destiny today. Come and change a destiny. A destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. That's right. That's right. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Bring this one. Worshiping. 
Come on, worship. The Lord is healing somebody, your spine. There's a problem with your spine. There's a healing happening. Can I have space here? Wait, wait, wait. Force your body to enter. Force your body to enter. You will not die young. Come. If it's you, fine. When I stood there, the Lord pointed you to me. And the Lord says, I should upgrade your life. Yeah. And by this prophetic act, you are going to contact supernatural help. Amen. Take! Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. There are seven close your eyes everybody this is too swift and too sharp watch the anointing is so strong here I saw in the realm of the spirit the angel of God was wiping away shame yeah. and I saw seven people in this house seven and I saw stars on them the Lord spoke to me the stars are their glory yeah. ushers look at that one Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Ushers, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Every shape. Every shape. Every shape. Every shape. That stood against your destiny. Oh, I see two more people. I see two more people. This thing is a mighty job opening for somebody. This thing, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, watch that one. Yes, 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 yes. Kadima Rahasa, watch that man. Karasata. Lift your hands above your head. Dear God, ah, what is this? I see mantle and I see favor written in the mantle. 15 people receive favor now. Close your eyes. Oh, watch that one. Favor. I see your men running with favor. I see your women running with favor. Watch, 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 watch. That one, oh, says, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Would you, uh, look at that one. That one, I see running with favor. Running with favor. Running with favor. Running with favor. Running with, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stand behind this young lady. Touch. Da -da -da. Young man, take it. Mm. Mm. Fire on you. Fire on you. Don't hold my hands. Fire on you. Fire on you. Don't hold my hands. Fire on you. Lift your hands above your head. Oh my Jesus, what is this one? I break every altar looking for you. Come out. Look this one. Let her go. You are worthy of a prayer. Sing that one. Oh. Hold my hands, young lady. Hold my hands with your two hands tight. Hold it tight. In the name of Jesus from tonight anyone that wants to bury your destiny from today they are disappointed fire mm. 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 your face will appear on TV you'll be an international figure Amen. wave your hands begin to bless him what do you 
give me oil. I'm just running out of time. But I, I need you to contact this grace that is on my life. Look for 100 runs and look for 200 runs. Run and come and put it on this altar. Make sure you touch me. 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 Make sure, make sure, make sure. Just make sure. Make sure. I have only two hands. One is holding the microphone. One is just touching. So don't, don't squeeze my hands. Don't squeeze. It's fine. This guy